back to the next video in today's video i will show you how to migrate your existing android project to kotlin multi-platform so that the same android project can be run on both android and uh, ios so let's get started but but first thing first like uh, i follow this guy called philip lackner on youtube and he has already made a video about it but in this video uh, he is using jetpack compose and swift ui for ios but i want to use the old android uh, xml view layout uh, because that is still popular uh, as of november 2023 uh, in future maybe like five six years down the line jetpack compose might become the default but uh, into like at least for today uh, in uh, 2023 uh, android xml view layouts are still quite popular so i will uh, tell you each and every step that you have to follow also one more thing in that uh, philip lackner's video is that the ios part i couldn't get it working and i had to figure out another way uh, of how to resolve that ios issue which uh, unfortunately has not been addressed in this video so i will try to resolve that issue as well and uh, in future uh, that issue might not be present and might be completely resolved but at least of november 2023 the issue is uh, still there uh, and i will tell you what the issue is so the issue is uh, something like this like uh, when you try to follow the setup which philip has mentioned in his video for ios you will get something like this c lang error no such file or directory so i will show you how to resolve this video as well uh, if you don't know what is kotlin multi-platform uh, so it is a way of running your uh, kotlin code on every platform it could be android ios uh, desktop or even web but in this video i will only concentrate on android and ios uh, the second thing uh, which i want to mention is that like kotlin multi-platform is stable so you can start using it uh, so first thing which you have to do for uh, this kmp technology is you ha you will have to install a uh, java 17 minimum uh, so that is the first requirement you should have uh, whenever you inside your terminal you do da java space dash dash version it should reference at least 17 version uh, the second thing is you will have to open your android studio you will have to go to plugins and search for this kotlin multi-platform plugin uh, so kotlin multi-platform mobile and you will have to install this plugin i have already installed it next what you will have to do is you will have to click on new project and uh, just uh, create a reference project for a kotlin multi-platform app because we will be copying a lot of code from this kotlin multi-platform app to make our uh, native android app uh, multi-platform so just create one project i have already created this uh, because uh, like this multi-platform app takes a little long uh, time uh, to get completely generated and that all that gradle syncing stuff that's why i've already created next uh, what i will do next what you once you have completed with this kotlin multi-platform app uh, i will create an empty views activity if you are interested in compose then you can follow uh, philip lackner's video uh, youtube tutorial again i am not in any way affiliated with philip lackner i just think it is a uh, good way of uh, knowing things so i will just create an android app old views xml okay so this is my android app name and i will just click on it i will click finish uh okay by the time uh, it is resolving all the uh, gradle it is resolving all that gradle syncing i also have that kmp app which i had already created so i will open that as well so this is my kmp app and this is my kotlin multi-platform app okay so i will just wait for the gradle syncing gradle sync to finish uh okay and here i have written some steps so that i don't forget it uh, just let's wait for gradle sync to finish all right the gradle has uh, gradle has finished syncing so what you will have to do first is you will have to go to project then open your android app then you will have to go to this app directory you will have to right click on it refactor rename then here you will have to select rename module uh, give it as give the name as android app okay uh, next i will click on okay 
so this is done next uh, what it says uh, is we will have to create this new module called kotlin multi-platform shared module so i will just uh, go to the project directory right click on it uh, new uh, module uh, then i will select kotlin multi-platform shared module i will uh, name it as shared and if now uh, be careful with this ios framework distribution like if you know you will be using coco pods then you will have to select this coco pods dependency manager but in my case i will create a simple uh, ui kit or a swift ui app and i will just run it so that's why i'm keeping this as a regular framework okay uh, but uh, i think later if you try to add coco pods i'm not sure if you will have to change something inside uh, this shared module as well so i think it's better if you know it is a production application better to use coco pods dependency manager i'm uh, if you know about swift package manager i don't think as of now kmp supports it but maybe in future it might support it so yeah just click on finish uh, now it yeah now it's throws an error so what you will have to do is you will have to open this gradle folder now just go to your uh, kmp project uh, so i have this kmp project right so what i will do you will have to copy paste this libs.version.toml file so i will just drag and drop this file to my gradle i will click refactor okay next uh, what you will have to do so we are not using compose so if you are using compose then you don't have to com comment this code but i'm not using compose so i'm just commenting out this unnecessary code which i don't need so i don't need this 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 comment out everything and yeah this this should be fine okay next i will try to sync it i'm not sure if it, if it will work or not i don't think it will work okay it still it throws error and now what you will have to do is you can just open your android uh, view go to gradle scripts open build.gradle.kts now same over here i will open android uh, inside our kmp app build.gradle.kts and you will just have to copy paste all this stuff so i will just remove this okay i will just not remove i will comment it out okay this is the first thing then you will have to open the build out cradle of your module android app and i will open the same over here as well and i will just copy paste it from this to over here okay now if i try to do cradle sync let's see if it works or not In the meantime, I will just open Xcode as well, just to save time. Okay, now the build has been successful. So what's the next step? So we have already done this. We have done this. We have done this as well. And we have done this as well. This this is also done. Now, uh, now we can ignore this step because this is related to Compose. So if you are using Compose, then you can again follow that Philip Lackner's video. Uh, next what you will have to do is you will have to go to settings.gradle.kts uh, i will go to over here and then you will have to open same settings.gradle.kts of your uh, kmp app as well and you will have to copy this line enable feature preview so what this will do is uh, i will tell you what exactly it does i will just sync it now if you see there is this shared module which is created so this shared module uh, if you know anything about kmp like i don't know much but typically whatever kotlin code you have to write like uh, which runs on every platform you will write inside this shared module and if you check uh, this uh, kotlin over here, uh, here so i am inside that android view sorry i will go into the project view and if you see the shared view over here here you can see there is this greetings uh, greeting class which we had created and it internally references uh, this get platform so if you see this platform uh, it just references this platform folder and this is the platform folder for android and what it does is just gives android as well as what is the current android sdk version similarly for ios if you check uh, what it does is uh, 
it just gives you your system name as well as your system version for ios so this is a reusable code which we can use on both android as well as ios so we want to import this shared module inside our android app so that's why this settings.gradle.kts uh, is necessary because it will provide us type safety otherwise you will have to hard code that shared thing inside your gradle.kts now i will again go to android what i will do is i will go to build.gradle.kts now what i will do i can just uh, copy paste this because our project name is shared right that's why implementation projects.shared now i will do a gradle sync okay now the gradle sync is done so what i could do i can use this uh, greet greeting uh, class inside our main android app so i will just close everything uh, just uh, just so that there is no confusion i will go to the main android app inside java uh, i will go over here inside main activity and if you see my uh, activity underscore main uh, there is a text view i will just assign some uh, id to this id at the rate text view okay and i can easily do something like this uh, find view by id uh, text view okay r dot id dot text view dot set text and all you can do is uh, greeting so this is our class and it has a method called greet that's it uh, and you can just refactor this as something like this okay so this is how you can use it for android and if you run it i will show you the final output as well at, uh, at the very end of the video uh, so this is for android yeah now for ios what you will have to do uh, open your xcode create new project uh, click on uh, select ios app uh, okay and here if you want you can use swift ui or you can use storyboard um, like uh, Philip has shown it for Swift UI, I will just show it for Storyboard. And here you can name it as iOS app. Uh, wait, let me just check the name. I think it is iOS app. Android Activity Compose. Yeah, give name as iOS app. Okay. And click next. Then you will have to store uh, this uh, project uh, where your uh, main. Uh, app is located so here you can see that if i go so my this is my main android app right android app old views xml and it should be located alongside your shared so i will just create it over here because the shared sh has to be referenced inside your ios app okay once that is done so let it finish uh, now i will just follow the kotlin documentation so here you can see uh, okay i have created one app i have done all this now you will have to go to build phases so just go over here build phases uh, new run script phase and here you can see i will just copy paste this and here you will just have to copy paste this and you will have to move this run script above compile sources because that is specified in the documentation over here next you will have to search for framework search path in build settings so in build settings framework search path okay and here over here you just have to click double click on it click the plus button and again just copy paste this and paste it over here next uh, so this is done now don't follow this step so the error which i was uh, talking about that c lang error so philip has done uh, followed this step inside his uh, youtube tutorial but uh, if you follow this step what is happening is that when you try to write something like this xcode is by automatically adding a double quotes uh, i'm not sure whether the issue is because of the double quotes or not it's better not to follow this step and then i think everything should be okay and uh, you will have to do this as well so user script sandboxing okay i will just click on this i will make this as no now i will just uh, run the android app as well as ios app wait uh, i have not referenced uh, this uh, inside my uh, the shared module is not referenced inside my uh, 
view right so what i will do i will just go to a, st a storyboard i will just take a label and i will uh, lay out it horizontally and vertically i will make an ib outlet for this now what you will have to do is you can import the shared module something like this import s h a r d i think uh, i have not uh, built the app that's why it is not showing I, what i will do i will quickly build the app open okay Okay, so the build has succeeded. So I can just write label dot text equal to uh, greeting dot greet. Now you can run the app, and I will show you the output as well. Uh, as you can see, hello Android thirty one, and this is the output for iOS. Hello iOS seventeen point zero point one, and if I show you the shared module again, like for shared module, just go to project. shared src so this is the common module and inside the android module we will write the android implementation with kotlin so i will just close this uh, so here you can see android and it is the uh, sdk end and the hello is written over here so hello platform dot similarly for ios as well it is written over here uh, current device system name uh, as well as system version so yeah that's it uh, thank you for watching